If you're like me, the drop near spear is probably your new favorite weapon to use in God of War Ragnarok, but it's not even close to as powerful as it could be when you first retrieve it during this story. So fully upgrading the spear to level 9 by finding all of the Gale Flame locations should be one of the very first things that you try to do and will contribute highly to your overall level since it scales to your gear and weapons levels. You'll automatically obtain a Gale Flame from the story, but the next one you can grab is done so by heading over to Vanheim's plain section of the crater which you can access by completing the Scent of Survival Favor, which is automatically marked during your run-through of the story from a mission called Creatures of Prophecy, where afterwards, Helka will lead you towards the western berry woods of Vanheim. It will shortly after take you over to the crater, a hidden section of the realm. You'll need to use one of the nearby altars to change it to nighttime, where you should see some gazelles being attacked by wisps, who you can free by shooting a purple arrow at it, and use the Blades of Chaos ranged heavy attack to burn them off. There are three gazelles throughout the area you'll need to burn the wisps off of not very far from each other at all and are easily seen glowing purple in the night's light. After burning all three of the wisps off, head towards the center of where you found them and you should encounter a boss fight with a flame phantom, which is one of the epic hunts in the area and will drop plenty of rewards including a gale flame. At the Jarns Mita pit mines in Svartalfheim, You'll find a berserker fight with a pair of berserkers named Sarulfur the Troublesome and Bodvar the Fierce. After defeating these two, you will obtain yet another Gale Flame. This one's pretty straightforward, but can be a difficult fight. If you haven't been here post-game after being here during the main story, and don't have this mystic gateway, you'll have to go down to the bottom of the wetlands and take the raft over to Sferd Sands, and then take the elevator down towards the apple core and the pit mines. If you go into your settings here, there's a setting that really makes this way easier. If you just set it to swipe so that whatever icon you have marked, it points you towards it, it makes getting around and navigating a lot easier. Now the next task can be fairly easy but a little tedious as you will need to find all six Lindworm locations and bring them back to Ratatosker. The only catch is that it won't become available until after completing the ninth mission on the path called the Word of Fate. After that you'll be able to start the favor called the Lost Lindworms where you need to find multiple Lindworms throughout the realms and return them. Once you complete that main mission just head on over to Sindri's house and you'll find Ratatosker pretty upset at his usual sitting spot. Kratos has caused the Lindworms to be out of a mother, and now they're running rampant throughout all of the realms, so Kratos is then tasked to find the locations of every Lindworm and return them. All of these Lindworms will be located within Yggdrasil Rifts, the first one you may have already run into in Svartalfheim at the top of the forge. Simply just throw your spear into the hole to allow Kratos to climb up and over to the gap, stick his hand into a random rift, and pull out the baby Lindworm. Since we're already in Svartalfheim, we might as well grab another Lindworm who's dwelling here, except he's all the way on the other side of the map in Alberic Hollow, which you can access from Dragon Beach. You may find this location familiar if you saw my guide on how to unlock Muspelheim, but we're going to climb up aboard the rafters here and then toss our spear into the wooden beam and run past the needy soul who has a favor for us to do. We're just going to fully ignore him and just keep on heading straight down the wooden bridge towards Thor's statue, where you will have to fight some enemies, but after defeating them, you can continue on past the legendary chest, which is taken from the path on the left of that Thor statue, and to get rid of the gold on that chest, you just have to grab one of the explosives from the vase, and that's how you'll blow up every wall in your way. But continue along and all the way down towards the end is where you will find the next rift containing our second Lindworm. We're still in the same realm, but this time over at Albrecht Island, towards the tippy top of the map and we'll run past the Berserker and Nornir chest to toss our spear into the wall to allow Kratos to climb up and towards our next rift, hidden over in the corner. Geyser under the water wheel is blocked. Uh. 
Something appears to be atop that island. Perhaps the treasure that... Our fourth Lindworm that is lying in Spartalfheim is going to be at the Apple Core, which hopefully you have the Mystic Gateway unlocked here, because if so, you can just run straight ahead into the Yggdrasil Rift and rip that Lindworm out of there. Our final two Lindworms are in Vanaheim, which I already went over how to get to this portion of Vanaheim, the plains, earlier on in the video, so we won't go over it again. But once you get here to the plains, pretty much immediately to our right from where I'm starting will be a closed door you can open, and following this path will lead you to a dragon. After defeating the dragon, just head over to the far corner and sacrifice Kratos to the rift to grab our fifth Lindworm. Our final Lindworm again is also located within the plains of Vanaheim's Crater, where we're going to start from this Mystic Gateway, but if this is your first time here, just head down this route under the arches and towards the shop where you'll find the Mystic Gateway, and just around the corner from it will be our final rift, or at least the final rift which contains a Lindworm. Now all that's left to do is head back and return them to Ratatosker, who's holed up at Sindri's house, who will reward you with some good items, which finding each Lindworm should have given you a Gale Spark, with all six sparks forming a Gale Flame, necessary to upgrade Kratos' Drop Near Spear. You should now be able to upgrade your Drop Near Spear to level 9, making it much stronger. That's pretty much it, subscribe for more God of War Ragnarok guides, and let me know what you guys want to see next. See ya.